Alright gamers, welcome back to another Steam Free to Play walkthrough. Today we have Prisons of Sun, which is supposed to be a text-based adventure. I've never actually played a text-based adventure, so I'm going to give it a try. I don't think I'll be able to beat it, because I'm usually bad, but let's go. Welcome to Prison of Sun, a text-based game created by El Alfeios. One, how to play. You start from the ground floor, floor one. You start roaming the floor by giving the right answers to the necessary questions. Uh, once the process is completed, you can move on to the next one. The game ends when the seven floors are completed. At the end, you will find out your score. Reach, reach out settings to adjust color and to choose the soundtrack you like. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. Um, let's, what kind of music do we want? One. Oh, sorry. Do we like that or do we like that? Whoa! I like this one. This is the one we're going with. It's the most, it's the <laughs> one with the most flavor. All right, game start. Yes. Save file one. Player name, Fluff and Panda. Any key to continue? In the center of the cosmos of Russ, a tower exists. The name of the tower is Prison of Sun. In this tower, the sons of man are sentenced, sentenced to be imprisoned forever. The reason why they are sent here, no one knows. But one thing is for sure, that you can escape and bring an end to the eternal loop of false judgment that has fallen upon you. What had I done? All right. You are one of the prisoners in the eternal jail. You don't remember and nor know how many centuries you are in prison. And for what reason, even the guards don't know the purpose of existence in this prison. The only thing you know is that you want to escape and learn the truth and the reason for all this crazy situation that has happened to you. You must escape. You must do it because if you don't, then who will save you from eternal doom? And then the sword says, Rrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Man, they're gonna give me a stupid question. I'm gonna miss it because I'm dumb. Hello, <laughs> it's gonna look bad. You searched and found the key for room zero. Congrats, you now have access to room zero. R-K-K-R. Now you can return to the hall. Uh, go west. I guess. Or do I want to go south? You're on the west cell, but the door is locked. You have to solve the fall over at all to open it. Press any key to continue. First successful printer process was, uh, Luther, I think. Developed by this man. What? What? I don't know. Gutenberg! I don't know who Gutenberg is. <laughs> I thought it was Luther. I thought he was like the one that was stapling pages to the wall and shit. Was it not him that created the printing press? Are we sure about that? I kind of want to Google it. Let me give that a Google. Uh, oh, it was Gutenberg. God damn it. You win this round, Gutenberg. God. Okay. Door is open now and you're inside the cell. Search it. Press any key to continue. At least it lets me try again. You've searched and found the key to, for the room three. Congrats. Now you have access to room three. Um, I guess we gotta go south now. You are in the south cell, but the door is locked. You have to solve the riddle, follow the riddle to open it. Press any key to continue. The wars between the Romans and the Carthan... Carthaginians? I don't have any idea. We're called the... Judean Wars? That sounds good to me. Oh god! The Sassanids! Okay, we suck. The Peloponnesians! Okay, we lost. But at least it lets me keep going until I get it right. That's something. You opened and you are in front of the stairs. <laughs> you are going to upstairs. Until you are going upstairs, you, until you reach the door for the second floor. The door is not locked. You open it and get inside. Congrats, you finished the first floor of the story. Hooray. Now you are standing in the hall of floor two. Press any key to continue. Choose what you want to do. Go east. Alright, choose what you want to do. Go west. Go east again. <laughs> I just want to see what was going to happen. Oh god, it keeps going east. Oh, sorry. I'm just going to keep going east. What happens if I keep going east? God, there's so many hallways east. Maybe these are all the same, and I'm just being a dumb. You cannot enter this room yet. You need the key to the to open the door, so check the other rooms first to find it. Alright, go east. You are in the north cell, but the door is locked. You have to solve the riddle, follow a riddle to open it. Kiev is the capital of... I don't know. How am I supposed to know? Oh, I suck at- I suck at geography. Lithuania. Wrong answer. Ukraine! Yes! Great. Door is open now. And you are inside the cell. Search it. You searched and found the key for room 3. Congrats, you now have access to room 3. Interesting. Let's go south. Okay. Let's go north. All right, go east, go north. You are in the north cell, but the door is locked. You have to solve the following riddle to open it. Who was the last emperor of the Byzantine Empire? Constantine. Easy. I finally got one right. Door is open now, and you are in inside the cell. Search it. Press any key to continue. You searched and found the key for the room five. Congrats! You now have access to room five. Cool. Um, what was I supposed to do here? You are in the south cell, but the door is locked. You have to solve the following riddle to open it. Oh, easy. Italy. Rome is the capital of Italy. Yay. Door is open now. You are inside the L. Search it. You searched and found the key for the room six. Congrats. You now have access to room six. Now you can return to the hall. Alright, let's go west, I guess. Or have I been to all the room? I've already been there. I've already been there. Wait, what just happened? Oh. God. Six. 
You're in the south cell, but the door is locked. You have to solve the following riddle to open it. Press any key to continue. Warsaw is the capital of Poland. You open, and you're in front of the stairs. Press any key to continue. You're going upstairs until the, you reach the door for the third floor. The door is not locked. You open it and get inside. Press any key to continue. Grant, you finished the floor two of the story. Now you stand to the hall of floor three. Uh, go east, I guess. Go west. Uh, go north. Oh god, this is a weird hallway. I don't know. Uh, wait a second, let's... Is the X where I'm at? Okay. I'm starting to learn. The X is where I'm at, I believe. So we want to go south? You may not enter this room. Okay. Five. You're in the west cell, but the door is locked. You have to solve the following riddle to open it. Beirut is the capital of Tajikistan. No. Lebanon. Yay. Doors open now. You're inside the cell. You found the keys for the room six and seven. You now have access to room six and seven. Alright. So to get to six and seven, I need to go east. Now I need to go east again. You're on the east cell. We have a riddle as usual. Who was the first emperor of the Mar Maratha Empire in India? I have no idea, but Shivaji sounds familiar. Hooray! It was correct. Doors open now. You're inside the city. Uh, you search it and find the third piece of the shield. Find the last one piece to create the shield. Okay. You're now in the uh, cell, but the door is locked. You have to follow, solve the follow riddle to open it. Pyongyang, B Belarus, South Korea, North Korea? South Korea is Seoul, correct? Yeah, I think South Korea is capital of Seoul. So we're gonna say North Korea. Yay, we found out what Pyongyang was. Door is open now. You searched and found the key to room four. Let's go. Hey, now we got hit two. So it's a lot easier if you just look at the numbers because you just hit the corresponding number to where you want to go to. You're in the south cell, but the door is locked, as usual. Islamabad is the capital of, I don't know, Nepal, Azerbaijan. I've never heard of Azerbaijan. I don't think it's Iraq, Islamabad. It could be Iraq. Pakistan? Hey, it is Pakistan. Islamabad. Llamas are very bad, that's what they say. Door's open now, you're inside the cell. Whoa, we found the key for room four. We're already in room four, though. What? You are in the south cell, but the door is locked. You have to find the, solve the key to riddle something. Sana's in the capital of Yemen, I believe. Or it could be the Maldives, or Malaysia, or Vietnam. I wouldn't know. Oh, it's Yemen. Hooray. First try. You open, and you're now on stairs. You, you're going upstairs until you reach the... Door to the fourth floor. The door is not locked. You open it and get inside. Yay. Alright. So, we're gonna go one. We're gonna go five. Door's closed. You have to, to open it, you have to find the guard that has the key. Go and find him. And we must murder him. What happened to Aaron? What's he doing with his life right now? Cannot go into this room yet. Go and search. Okay, whatever. Alright, we gotta figure out the riddle. Yay. Asmara is the capital of- if you know your capitals, you're good. I have no idea. I suck at this. I literally suck at this. At least it, it, you don't lose. To go! Uh, Bambia. Comoros. Eritrea. I didn't even know that was a place. I didn't know that was a real place. It was Eritrea. You open and you are inside the cell. Now you see the two guards talking to each other. Aaron runs fast and hits the one of the two guards on his back. The guard faint and fall down. The other guard sees you and he's moving against you, but Aaron grabs him fast. He puts him down and beats him. Well, Aaron's god dang Jason Bourne. <laughs> so the guard has faint too. You start <laughs> to search them and put them in an isolated cell. Aaron is spry for a plus, a 70 year old plus man. He just beating the crap out of everybody. I guess desperation will make you like the Hulk. I can't. We got backtracking them. What in the world? 
It was Shaka, Shaka Zulu. <laughs> hey, I know Shaka Zulu. He was on that uh, that one show that used to come on Spike where they would do the fantasy battles. Karatum is the capital of. It's not Eritrea. We already know that one. Sudan. Yes. The door's open now. You're inside the cell. You searched and found the fourth piece of the shield. I thought there were only three pieces. What? Your new shield is for use later on. We did it. Hooray, I guess. Alright. What year is the Adal Sultanate established in the Horn of Africa? I don't know. 1577 sounds good. Oh, that's wrong. Four. Okay. Two. Yes, 1415. Back in the day when the African Horn Sultanate was started. Door is open now. You were inside the cell. You find the room to key nine. Where's key... Was there a... Oh, okay. But what about the five? Oh, did I already go there? Okay. Alright. Sao Tome is the capital of Sao Tome and Principe. Digibooty. Digibooty, Digibooty, Digibooty. No. Tunisia. Cabo Verde. Oh, it's the capital of its own place. How can you be the capital of two places? I don't know. You are opened and are in front of the stairs. You're going upstairs until you reach the door for the fifth floor. The door is locked. You open it and get inside. Yay! Only three more floors to go, I guess. You are on floor five, the prisoner's eating room, but you can't see none of the guards. It is because they have learned of your escape and are getting ready to face you on the fourth floor. Floor six. Aaron asks you to free all the prisoners of this floor in order to fight back all together, but you don't want to. Aaron tells you you have to do to do it, because there is only one way to escape, and you accept his plan. Now go and freeze all the prisoners, because before the guards take advantage, advantage, I'm guessing. Go. What in the world? The numbers aren't matching up anymore. What in the world? Congrats, you find the first door to open. You and Aaron are ready to open the door to this room. To free them, but you first must solve the riddle. Ruzo is the capital of... Uh... Dominica? Yay, that's right. You open the door of the room, and now the first three prisoners are out and ready to fight with you. Now go to the other cells to free the prisoners. Alright. Okay. Alright. Six. Nine. Or God dang it. Congrats, you find the first door to open. St. George is the capital of... Granada? Granada. Hey, we're right. You open the door of the room, and now the three prisoners are ready to fight with us. So let's go get more prisoners. Hooray! Gosh. Yeah, we found another door to open. And what year did... I didn't know Canada was not No, I'm just kidding. Uh, 1867. Yay. Alright. Well, this is quite educational. We found another door. Who was the last ruler of the Neo-Inca state? Tupac. We're gonna say Titu Kuzi. That's not right. Inca Roca. Inca Oka. Uh, Tupac. It was Tupac. Jesus. Tupac been busy. Alright, and then we need to go five. Gosh, this is. The Cuban Revolution happened in 1963. 1977? 1953? Yeah. <laughs> Hooray! 
grass, we found a door. The Haitian Revolution started in... I don't know. 1793. Okay. 1804. 1791. Yay. You open the door to the cell, and the last prisoner is out ready to fight with you. Get the gate A open, and go get weapons for the prisoners. You and Jake are ready to open the gate of the floor, but first you must solve the following riddle. Which of the following peoples ruled over ancient Mexico? The Aztecs. Yay. You open the gate and now you are ready to go. The next step is to find weapons for the prisoners. Press any key. To what? The world. I thought that's what we just did. Ah. You're on to the floor five where the guards come to live with the weapons when they're off shift. Go to the rooms and that are in. Unlock the door and give the weapons to the prisoners to help you escape and fight against the guards. Go east. Go north. Doors locked. Go east. Go north. Doors locked. Oh, wait. The numbers aren't matching. Oh, wait. I went the wrong way. Two. Three. Six. Two. Seven. Four. Eight. You, Jake, are ready to... Who's Jake? I thought it was Aaron. What happened to Aaron? Katana. Katana. The door is open and you're inside the cell. You searched and found a room to key five. Cool. Now we need to go two, one, five. All right, puzzle. What war was also called the Great War? World War One. You open the door and the prisoners took weapons. They're now ready to fight in wrath. Go and continue your effort. We also got a key to room six. We should probably do that as well. According to the Bible, what weapon did David use to kill Goliath? The sling. Well, now I'm starting to get the questions I can actually answer. That's exciting. Uh, but this, you must solve the following riddle. The Eagle Warrior was a special class of infantry soldier in... Eagle Warrior. I think the Aztec, because they were all bird people. I was right, it was the Aztecs. Let's go. You open the door to the stairs and you go up and you breach out the door of floor six. Aaron tells you that the, this is the last floor before you can free yourself, but there's seven floors. But you need to find some shields for the prisoners so they can protect you. Go and find them to prepare for the battle. Now open the door and enter to floor six. Yay, continue. You're the, to, to the floor six. Here you can find shields. Go to the room, unlock the door, and give the shields to the prisoners to help you fight the guards and then escape. Can't go there yet. Can't go there yet. Can't go there yet. We can go here, hooray! In what war- oh, uh... In what year... In World War II started the New Guinea campaign? I don't know. Uh, 1942? Yay! You opened, you're inside a cell, you found the rooms of the key four. Two, four. All right, Madro is the capital of the Marshall Islands. Yay. You open the door room and you find shields and you give them to the prisoners. Congrats, now you have all prepared the prisoners to fight the guards. You can continue your escape. You found a key to key five too, so that's good, I guess. Didn't we already open key five? I guess not. The most populous city of New Zealand is Auckland. Yay. You open and you're, I've been on a roll and you are inside the cell searching. You search and find the key to gate A. Congrats, you now have access to gate A. You're in the north cell, but the door is locked. You try to open it. You have to solve the following riddle. Press any key to continue. Oh, we already did this one. Four, 1942, hooray. You open the door and you're ready to go fight with the guards. With Aaron and prisoners, This is, that is the last floor before you can free yourself. But behind this door, guards are wit witting that are informed that are waiting that are informed about your rebel and they will try to stop you from escaping you are you and your companions are ready to fight the guards are seeing you and wait to go against you press any key to continue you're still on floor six the guards are in the front of you in room one one thing remains fight them and try to win okay you are on the room one and you start to fight with the guards. Aaron fights with you, the prisoners too. We got Aaron, we win. One, attack. 
Oh, four attack. You attack on the guard, you hit him. He steps back, you attack again, you strike him. He falls down, you win. Aaron succeeds to defeat two guards. The prisoners fight, some of them lose and die, some others win. But you have to continue because the guards are not eliminated at all. Guards are coming from everywhere. Everyone around you is fighting hard. Aaron defends himself and prisoners try to protect us harder. Each, each other, I guess. You continue to fight too. You avoid the guard's attack who's trying to hit you with his sword. You succeed to protect yourself and Aaron with a fast move hit the guard. The, Aaron, the guard fall down. Prisoners are almost eliminated. Attack! You are attacking the guard but he is defending himself and tries to fight back. Try to defend yourself carefully. You are under attack of two guards. One of them is trying to hit you, but you push him back with your shield with a fast turn to the right. You stub the other one who falls. Aaron comes next to you and you both make a body fence to the next three attackers. Aaron hits one of them and you throw your sword against the other. Aaron is receiving a lethal strike. You pick up your sword and you attack rapidly, full of wrath. You eliminate the last two enemies. You win win but you are alone. Aaron died? Aaron can't die, he's mother freaking Jason Bourne. What? You win but in the room two are three good more guards, win and free yourself. All right, you are, what in the word, world? Before to room two, here you will play like roguelike games. You will move your character in a maze. There you will have to take the two keys and then go against guard to open the door. You play with the arrow keys. I'm okay. Where am I at? Okay, it's like Pac-Man, I guess. What in the world? Oh, this is awful. I somewhere went the wrong way. Oh man, this maze has kicked my butt. We got this. It's really hard to tell because some of the doors are like super narrow. I can't believe they killed Aaron though. That dude was a freaking madman. All right, we got one of the keys. I'm the little yellow ball, by the way, that's like moving at super speed because I don't want to be stuck in this maze forever. Now we killed the guard. You ready, son? I don't know what's roguelike about this. Can I hold it? Yeah, you can just hold it. You don't want to tap it all the way. Alright, now how do we get to the guard to kill him? Oh, I see it. I see the path. I s Dry land's not a myth. I seen it. Great success. Get dunked on, son. Congrats, you won the last guard, and now you are able before the door that leads to the last floor. But to go there, you must open the door and solve this riddle. Who was the last Tsar of the Russian Empire? Nicholas II. What? Was that wrong? Oh, I was about to say. You open the door and you go upstairs. You reach out to, of the door on the, of the floor 7. That's the last floor before you can free yourself. Prepare yourself, encourage, and go. Press any key to continue. Congrats, you finished floor six of the story. We're gonna like loop around or something back to the prison. You are on floor seven. There are no guards, but two gates that lead to your freedom. You need to unlock the gates and then you are free. Now you have, but now you have to answer the 10 questions and open the gate A. When you are ready, press one. You are in the room with gate A. When you are ready, answer these questions. Okay. At Spartan, the Slev population was called Helots. Yes. Where's Buddha's birthplace? Somewhere in India, right? Godawari. Wrong answer. Vyas. Lumini. Okay, it's apparently Lumini. Catherine the Great was the Empress of Spain. What? Persia. Russia. Okay. Who is known as the Iron Ca Chancellor? Uh, we're gonna say Otto von Bismarck. It could be Winston Churchill. I know he's Iron Curtain, that was Otto von Bismarck, apparently. Who's the founder of the Akkadian Empire? Sargon. Yay. 
And Sparta, the population... Oh, we already did this one. The Helots. Who was the second Pope of the Vatican City? It's either St. Clement. I think it's St. Clement. No, it's not. St. Peter. Oh, God. St. Linus. Yay. Who was the em first Emperor of Japan? Don't know. We're gonna say Jingu. Nope. And I. Cohen. Jimu. About how long did the Roman Republic rule Rome? About 150 years. Wrong. 450 years. Right. Americans' involvement in the Korean War took place in what decade? The 60s, I believe. Wrong answer. The s it, it, 70s? 70s? Oh god. The 50s! Hooray! Congrats, you succeeded to open gate A. I suck. Your chains are loosened. You dropped them off. The prisoner door is now ready to be opened. And you can leave by simply walking out. Nothing can hold you anymore here. You walk into the sunlight again with the strength because you do not have to fear any more nothing. The answers will be given to you because you chose to be for, choose to be free. Go. Open the last gate. Yay. Congrats, you succeed to open the gate. Russ, 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 Russ. Yeah, the grammar started getting, like, really bad towards the end. It was, like, little mistakes at the beginning, but then it started getting, like, all crazy and stuff. I don't know if it was, like, rushing to get to the, get it finished or what. Congrats, you finished Floor 7 of Story and the Game. Thanks for replaying my game, and always remember, the best things in life do not come easy, so never give up when things get tough. Now you can see your score. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> From total 42 questions, you answered the right, the 616-538-505. World history, you are good. European history, start to learn European history. Asian history, start to learn Asian history. African history, you're good. Uh, American history, start to learn American history. Oceanian history, start to learn Oceanian history. Alright, yeah, okay. That was alright. That was the first text-based game I ever played through completely. It was... Um... I like that it was like an educational game. But the grammar got really crazy. And I didn't feel like super gratified after beating it, really, because I could just like... I, I, I'm I glad it didn't make me restart all the way, but I feel like checkpoints would be better than just being like, Oh, just keep trying it until you miss. Which, I guess it, it doesn't really matter. Because you're just going to do that anyway, so I guess it saved time. And it basically just told you you were wrong at the end. Um, it's definitely not my type of game because I'm not like a geography person in the first place. But, yeah, if you like videos like these, please like and subscribe. Bye!